Welcome to another episode of Video Mania. I'm your host Josh Hall and today I'm going to show you how to build a belt clip for your H1, H2, or H4N or any other device really that you'd like to clip to your belt. Um, the reason why I have this clip on here is because I use this as my wireless mic. I hook a lav mic up here, hook that onto their belt, and then I run the lav mic up their shirt and then I can film with them at any range and just sync up the audio later. It's a fantastic way to do it. And it's cheap and the sound comes through clear. You're going to need metal cutters. You're going to need a sheet of metal. This is 24 by 24 inches and it's 26 gauge metal which means that it can bend which is what we want, but it's not too bendy. You're also gonna need a measuring tape. You're going to need a roll of duct tape or a piece of cloth and Gorilla Glue. And you're going to need a 1 4th inch bolt and nut, small one. And you're gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers. And you're also gonna need a drill. So first off, we're going to need a strip of metal that is one to one and a half inches wide and five inches long. So go ahead and measure that out. One and a half wide by five long, and then cut it out with your metal shears. All right, now we've got our metal strip cut out. Next, we take our needle nose pliers and our strip of metal, and we're going to bend the edge down a little bit on both sides. This does not have to be exact. We're just bending it. We're just bending it down. And this way nobody gets cut on our metal belt clip. Now that you've got your metal strip and you've bent both sides in, now you can go ahead and take your duct tape or your cloth, go ahead and get a length that will cover the entire length of your clip. And then just lay your clip right on top of the duct tape and then fold that duct tape right over and then fold it over again and fold it over again and now you've covered um, and now you've covered this metal belt clip and so that'll protect it from scraping belts and scraping people especially if women are wearing skirts and things this may be going right up against her skin um, and that would that might hurt a lot if it goes in there and, and cuts her if you're going to do this with cloth, which I would recommend because it will not only look better, but it will feel better as well, um, go ahead and cut your cloth just like you would the duct tape, leaving a little bit more on each end, and then take Gorilla Glue and put Gorilla Glue on the insides of the belt clip and then fold everything over just as you did the last time, so that way all the glue is on the inside. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go between two and a half to three inches up and then we're going to bend this over. We're going to just bend it right over. Around one half inch down, take a one fourth inch drill bit and go ahead and drill into your metal piece. Now we have holes drilled all the way through both sides. And what we've also got, because we bent it between two and a half to three inches up, is we've got this side that's a little bit longer. This is going to be the side that goes inside of people's belts or inside of their jeans. The short side is going to be the side that is up against your H1 or H4N, H2 or whatever else. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your bolt and you're just going to put it on the inside that's going to connect to your H1. Go ahead and push it through. So we're just going through one piece of metal here. Take your bolt, you're going to screw that on there you're going to wrench that that nut right up there and then 
After that, you can go ahead and attach it to your H1 or H4N. And you've got a handy hole here in the back, so you can take your screwdriver and you can cinch that thing up nice and tight. Once you feel that it's sufficiently bolted into the H1 or H4N, um, you might still feel that the belt loop is a little bit loose. So you can go ahead and take your pliers and you can go ahead and reach into that where that nut is and you can go ahead and ratchet that nut nice and tight, which is going to force that metal up against the uh, bolt head there and then that's going to be nice and tight. And then what you can do is you can pull this out a little bit, you can bend this metal down to make a nice curve and then go ahead and bend that back down. You can use your pliers to really push that in there. So there you have it. There's a handy little belt clip for your handy Zoom H1 or H4N and it costs around five to ten dollars depending on where you're going and what types of uh, and how big your metal sheets and bolt set are that you're buying. But on the other hand, if you keep all the stuff that you're buying here, we're going to use it in more tutorials and you'll see that we're going to reuse a lot of this stuff later. So what you're really doing is saving money because you're going to be able to do more DIY stuff with the equipment that you're buying right here on Video Mania. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please subscribe to see similar content. Remember, leave your questions and comments below. I will respond to them as soon as I can. Thank you.